Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Friends, today I am going to show you how to diagnose your ACL having complete tear on MRI. How it looks on MRI. First of all, I will show you normal ACL, how it looks on MRI. This is fat set PD sequence. This black sequence is known as a fat set PD or STIR. Someone takes STIR sequence also. And this one is very important sequence. This is T2 weighted sequence. Always we are taking thin sections of ACL to diagnose the how much fibers of the ACL has been has been involved in ACL tear. Okay, so this is ACL anterior cruciate ligament. This upper bone is called femur, and this lower bone is called tibia. This one is tibial attachment and this one is femoral attachment in this same sequence t2 weighted sequence this black is acl this lower one is tibial attachment and this one is femoral attachment okay now i will show you acl tear complete tear of acl in this sequence you can see there is in continuity of acl at femoral attachment this upper bones there is no attachment of acl this is drooping of acl you can see this portion is of acl so in this case we can say it's a complete tear okay in the same manner this is t2 beta sequence here is also we can say there is incontinuity of a acl at femoral attachment in this sequence we can see the femoral attachment and this this sequence there is no acl at femoral attachment okay so in this type of scan at your home also you can diagnose you can see whether there is a signal in acl or not you have to just see this acl should be dark in color okay if there is some hypertension signal they may suggest a tear partial tear partial tear or a complete tear or sometimes there is a contusions also in the acl so when you are seeing this type of feature in this image there is in continuity of acl at femoral attachment so this may represent a complete tear of acl 